How do you do, fellow kids? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. There seems to be wars going on everywhere around the world. So much pain, so much suffering. Please, just let it all stop. But some people just want to watch the world burn, and those people are, of course, Joe Biden supporters and Joe Biden himself. Joe Biden is a dementia riddled old man who doesn't know where he is. He lives inside of a nursing home where he has regular elder abuse caught on camera as he trips and falls and bumbles and sharps his pants. But ladies and gentlemen, the people who are running and operating Joe Biden think it's a good idea for him to go on Truth Social, Donald Trump's social media platform. And so that's what they decided to do. Biden's campaign Jones Truth Social this week. President Biden's re-election campaign joined uh, President Trump's Truth Social platform, mostly because we thought it'd be very fun. Oh, okay. Why it matters. The move is part of the Biden campaign's evolving effort to build an online presence in preparation for the president's presidential rematch, who is also coordinating an extremely online campaign. Extremely online. Well, let's see how this goes. Converts welcome, Biden campaign said in his first post. But of course, they got completely and utterly ratioed. Didn't go well, actually. Biden campaign joins Truth Social, gets immediately ratioed, according to Post Millennial here. The ratio has been severe. On Monday, the Biden campaign revealed that they would be launching an account on Truth Social, meeting voters where they are. Hmm. Well, okay, there's a little tip of the hat. Oh, look, a embedded tweet from me. Thanks, Post Millennial. Instant ratio, a couple thousand replies. Uh, it's gotten way worse, actually. Let's go over here to the actual... Uh, truth social account of Joe Biden. Biden Harris HQ has 19,000 followers. They're following one person. Who are they following? Probably following. I haven't logged in on my truth social. They're, fo they're following Donald Trump. No doubt. <laughs> so they're posting and their initial post, which is right here, uh, has again, gotten absolutely and completely ratioed into the sun. 7,000 replies, 7,500 replies. So that's pretty, uh, that, that, that's, that's murder. <laughs> Not the only uh, lib on Truth Social. Gavin Newsom's on Truth Social. Got a little check mark too. Look at that. Joe Biden don't got a, oh no, Biden, Joe Biden does have a check mark. Gavin Newsom has a check mark though. Check mark. Checkmate. Nice to see some fellow Dems joining the fun over here, says Gavin Newsom, retruthing uh, Biden-Harris campaign headquarters. What I think is funny is that you scroll down through the feed and you find like <laughs> sponsored ads. Trump's gift to Americans. <laughs> and Donald Trump holding AI Donald Trump holding a bunch of gold coins. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, so yeah, this is uh so this is so they've been posting a lot though. Look at this. They've been posting a lot. Wow. All right. So here comes the Krasenstein bros. It's official. Biden uh, Harris campaign have officially joined Donald Trump's true social. They've trolled Donald Trump. This is sort of a screen record scrolling through. While Trump hasn't posted to X for over a month, last thing he posted was his mugshot. The Biden campaign is taking the fight directly to him on truth. Do you think Trump will ban the campaign or deboost it? Hmm. Interesting question. I would say no. It's probably great for engagement. President Biden's campaign announced that he will be joining Truth Social platform. The campaign stated there's very little truth happening on Truth Social. <laughs> but now at least it'll be a little more fun. Okay. So here they are on X. This is the uh, account. This is their official account on X using the dark Brandon. It's like an absurd meme that like Joe Biden is some kind of like dark Brandon, some type of like secret dark master. Well, we just joined Truth Social mostly because we thought it'd be fun. So that's what they say. So they've shared this. And they're using a Fox screenshot to kick it off. Yeah. Well, actually, that's yeah, kind of fun. Trolling. Trolling. They call it a little trolling. Harry Sisson, the thing. Ha! The Biden campaign is not the profile of Donald Trump's failing website, Truth Social. The campaign's a little fun. Meet them where they're at. <laughs> it's an amazing move of the campaign. Says Harry says, and as he, uh, he, you can barely hear in the background the ka-ching of him cashing the DNC checks that he is uh, uh, putting into his bank account in order to post stuff like this. Because literally, no zoomer, like no, like look at look at this, look at this cover image <laughs> profile. 
<laughs> Bro, it was photoshopped. Like you had to, you had to like face face tune. <laughs> face <when he> was... <laughs> he looks older than Joe Biden here. <laughs> If like if low T, if low testosterone, cr if critically low testosterone was an image, this is what you'd have. This is what you'd get. If if too much soy in your diet was an actual photograph of a person, was a person, this is what you'd get. On the other hand, you have Waka Flocka, Waka Flocka Flame, a rapper with nearly two million followers. Straight up changing his, uh, straight up changing his avatar to Donald Trump, tweeting Trump 2024 tomorrow. So he tweeted Trump 2024. I'm not a politician. I don't want to talk politics. I only answer to the people, my fans, aka the people. I love you all with every bone in my body, squad. Well, there you go. Waka Flocka, new profile pic. So this is what's happening over on X. I don't think Waka Flock is on Truth Social. But this is good. This <laughs> this thing is flying. This thing's got good engagement. There you go. So MAGA War Room, the official Donald Trump War Room on X, uh, is saying is is posting. <laughs> oh man, is this too good. Is posting graphics like this. So yeah, Waka Flocka endorsing Donald Trump over here. You have people in Atlanta, you might might recall, cheering for Donald Trump as he rolled through their uh, absolutely decrepit neighborhoods, made decrepit by, of course, the people who run Atlanta and these repulsive uh, politicians, parasitic politicians who don't care about them at all, who have destroyed their lives. And they're cheering for Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. This was Donald Trump after being indicted, after getting his mugshot, rolling through. Atlanta. Is this why Waka Flocka endorsed Donald Trump? Yes. Yes, it is. Because this is absolutely hardcore. You know what's not hardcore at all? What's not hardcore at all is this. That's right. This. This is the face of erectile dysfunction. Call your doctor. Call your mother. If you look like that. And say, what went wrong, mom? Please help. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden getting ratioed on Truth Social. It is, uh, we are out here. We out here. It is a world, a wild world, and it is an interesting one. And we're uh, here to cover it all. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't miss a beat. See ya.